Hello Capricorn, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your September 2021 general reading. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys though hit that bell twice and this way you get all the notifications, all right? And a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support. Um, man, I just... I can't say it enough. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this channel would not be here without all of your support. So yes, I do appreciate the comments, the donations, the love, um, always overwhelms me and I never can say enough to it. Um, but anyway, let's get started. We're going to start off with some Oracle cards guys, and then we're going to get into your 12 card tarot, which is the beginning, the middle and the end. Please don't get hung up on like when it's actually happening, even though we're pulling in September energy, because some of you, this may have already happened and you're getting some validation messages or things to help clear things that are blocking you from moving forward. Others of you, it's present energy and it's something to um, pay attention to for the future. Okay. And really pay attention to the storyline, um, how, things may resonate to you and don't force anything to fit if it doesn't fit for you that's okay just enjoy the story okay not everything's gonna fit it's reading for a lot of different people if you do want something private and personable you can find all of that information on my website and that information is in the description box below and want to bring up some news in case you guys have missed it and because I have some new subscribers here I am also going to be, ready for this, in Salem, Massachusetts uh, for Halloween weekend at an event called Salem Witchy Weekend. It's hosted by My Mystical Life, some friends of mine, um, and also I'm part of their group, their membership group called The Late Bloomers, but they are running this event, guys, and it's going to be jam-packed full of weekend fun, but it is the only time that you would be able to get a private mini reading with me, okay? And I don't have a lot of them. I'm there Saturday for readings and then I have um, a, a panel on Sunday morning uh, for my mediumship and channel messages. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But if you want to pre-register for that event, all of that information is found on my website. So just go in that description box below and you'll find that there. Okay. I also have a tarot workshop coming up. I just wrapped up my first one and not saying that I have new to teaching because I'm absolutely not. This is the first one of its kind, meaning that it was super interactive, small group. It was awesome. You will find my alumni um, I'm going to have some of them as guest host on this channel for September. Um, looking forward to that as well, guys. So that class is going to be starting and that information is going to be on my website too. So hope to see you there. Lots of new things happening for September. Woo! Here we go, Capricorn. Here we go. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Capricorn this month for September. What's going on, spirit? What's going on? <laughs> oh boy you're being tested for sure how you can't make this up if you ever tried oh my god capricorn let's talk all right so let's let's start here you are drained i mean i can tell you right now you are so drained artificial heart here your heart is closed probably because it's been used and abused you're just tired okay now my general readings are not always, cause guys, cause they're general for, I do separate ones that are specifically on love. This is not, this does can involve love though, but there's more messages here, okay? I feel like someone has drained you or people and events have drained you. It's almost like you're in mechanic mode. Like, uh-huh, I'm here. If this is a job guys, it's like you just show up and you feel like a freaking robot. Like, I'm here. I'm not really having any empathy for anyone who's coming up to me. What do you need? What do you desire? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, there's no I'm sorry or trying to have emotions. Nothing. <laughs> I'm not laughing at this. I've been in this mode before. You're on autopilot. Artificial heart. You're an autopilot around people. Because 12 it comes to a 3, so it's in collaboration with... Whatever you're around, you are an autopilot. This can even be an autopilot at home. Could be with family and friends. Maybe the kids are getting too much to you and it's like you're just doing the yes and no's and don't do that, don't, but you're not reacting to the level of how you typically will react, meaning human. Now you got both cards and you can't make this shit up, 
both cards you got were grounding cards, meaning that you need to ground, take care of yourself. We have ground and center next to connect with Gaia. Okay. Go out in nature, take a vacation, time to take a break, put the broom down, time to go within. I keep feeling the four swords energy here. <laughs> oh my gosh. But also it's like, I just want to release this toxicity around me. I want to feel human again. Listen to your intuition. I feel a lot of you are getting stuck in your head. It's kind of like going the, you know, when you're sitting at home trying to sleep and it's like, I feel like almost a nine of swords stage here. Although we're, I'm only reading these intuitively in this level, you know, cause that's what I do with the Oracle cards and sometimes the tarot cards come out. So we'll see if they come up, but it feels that level of like, I need to rest. I need to rejuvenate. I'm overworked. I'm tired. Now, if this is a relationship, it's you're overworked, meaning you did too much. And it's like, I'm tired of listening to this person's bullshit. I'm tired of it. Here we go. We have the six of wands, the lovers, another six reversed, the ace of swords. You may be speaking your truth. That's a big thing. The, <clears throat> the hermit reversed. Beginning, we have the, or the middle, we have the eight of swords, the two of swords, Temperance reversed. The High Priestess. All right, all right. We have the Eight of Pentacles. You definitely need a vacation. Towards the end, we have the Ten of Wands reversed. We have the Empress reversed. And we have that Toxicity with the Devil card here. Okay? Why? Because we got the Seven of Pentacles energy here. This is ready that you planted your seeds and now you're like, okay, when's it happening? What's going on? I'm, I don't want to stand here. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't even want to stick around here. But you planted something and it's like, I can't just go up and leave. Who's going to take care of the crops? Many of you have a very high profile kind of type of job here with the six of wands, or it could just be like, you're the kind of person that gets stuff done, victorious, gets known for it, kind of in the public eye, people see you, they value you. But here's the thing, you have the lovers here reversed. Now this could be a love situation where it's just not working out. But I feel like you're realizing something no longer serves you, whatever you're in, whatever you're unhappy about, whatever's draining you no longer serves you. Okay. And you're realizing this, you are realizing this. All right. Now, some of you have already spoke your truth about this and the victory is like, no, I spoke my truth. I know that this was burning me out because you got victory here. I mean, you literally have victory here. So I do feel like truth was spoken or is going to be spoken. And I feel like whatever is going to be spoken is going to actually benefit you. Why? Because we have the hermit card here reversed. Now the hermit is usually going within, it is usually being able to see, I need time to look at my hopes, desires. Now, some of you, it's because you have taken the action to say, I need a freaking vacation. I'm not giving you a choice. I, here's my time. Here's my leave. Okay. The hermit reversed is not saying, okay, I got all my wisdom. I'm ready to go. I don't see it this way in this, in this, in this reading. I see it as I need to take a time out to see what used to make me happy because right now I am burnt out. I don't feel passionate about this and I need a time out. You need it. It's reversed. You absolutely do. Why? Because you are in your head you have so much anxiety. You can get out of this. You're well aware of it. And you speak your truth by saying this. Okay. You're like, I know that I have a lot of anxiety. I feel like some of you have a really, really stressful position. And if not in work, it's a lot of things to do. If this is relationship wise, it's a lot of things to do within the family that you take care of, you get the credit for, or you're, you're relied on to do a lot. Okay. But it, 
it creates a lot of anxiety. And I feel that with the lover's card here and the two of swords energy is you're basically saying enough is enough, time out. I haven't made a decision as like, I'm leaving this thing. Like I think, I think either of you are taking a vacation or taking a break in a relationship or saying, I just need a time out. I haven't made a final decision yet with the two of, uh, the two of swords. You haven't made a final decision here because you're you're not balanced. Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a Sag here too, Capricorns. Something around you does not feel balanced. It feels completely off balance. It feels the opposite of that, okay? I feel for a lot of you, um, because with this next to the high priestess energy and the high priestess is she's a no she's intuitive right she knows she knows secrets but she keeps to herself right i feel for many of you you're not really speaking up yet quite yet you're being very strategic as to why you need a timeout because you need to gain wisdom so i do feel like you are keeping some things hidden at the moment because you're trying to ground yourself you're trying to get that energy back. But you need a break. Because the Eight of Pentacles, which is working on your craft over and over again, again, doing doing this straight down, guys. This is going straight down. <laughs> it's going straight down here, okay? This is reversed. You're taking a break. You're not working on your craft. You're letting go of the burden. You're literally letting go of these wands. These are both reversed. I'm taking a time out from having to do everything. I'm letting go of this burden. I know that this is probably because the Empress card, Taurus, Libra energy here, Capricorn. This is about having a new beginning, a new birth. It is reversed. And I feel that the reason it is reversed is because you're dealing with some toxic shit right now. Okay, this is a toxicity. Not that you're taking a break. The toxicity is this. This is your own energy here. Okay, you're trying to take stock of your life. All right, so this break that's needed, you may have indulged yourself to try to numb it out. Okay, and I feel what's happening here, even though it's going in the level of okay, reverse reverse, letting go of the burden, not having a new start. This new start is not going to happen with a toxic mindset, with these toxicities, with being stuck in your head, with numbing yourself out. Okay. And we haven't even got to the outcome cards yet. I just feel like you have toxicities around you, whether it comes in a person, your environment, or the things that you were doing it's not serving you anymore. And you really need to take a time out to sit that out. It doesn't mean that you are canceling out somebody entirely. It just means that you may be obsessively thinking in the level of, oh my God, I don't know if I wanna think of losing this person or losing this job or moving on. I don't know if I wanna think, but you're like obsessively thinking about it, which could bring toxicities in here, okay? Even more on this. You need, you need to take a break, break. You need to go within. So let's see what the outcome cards are. Um, I don't do reversals on these because they're the vice versa deck. It's double-sided cards. What's the outcome card here for Capricorn this month? <laughs> Can't make this up. We just got the devil card again. Different though. Different, different. It's, it's a little different here. We need two more cards here. Spirit, two more, please. Okay. Okay. All right. So listen. You're definitely gaining new insight. You didn't get it this way. So it's not just about a karmic cycle ending. I definitely feel like it's like a need to end something that is toxic, but it's this way around, okay? So you see the light, all right? With the three of wands energy, I feel like you're waiting before you make any decisions on anything until you get yourself a little bit more balanced here because you have the Sagittarius energy here with temperance, okay? 
You will make no decisions until you are in this mode. You see that, you know that. So you're waiting to talk to someone. I feel like you made a communication to say time out. Like I said, could have been a vacation, taking a break, could be taking a vac vacation even from an individual, a person, time out because you're this way. You're sucked out, you're sucked dry, blech, not feeling good, okay? But here's what's coming. The two of cups. So there is union here when you remove this and you get yourself grounded and get the wisdom that you need. But you have to be balanced for this partnership to be, be filled again, okay? This may even be communication more of saying, listen, now that I'm balanced, let's talk. Let's see if we can meet eye to eye. Now, I'm not doing any more validation cards on here, but with the Ace of Cups behind here, there's love here, okay? So this is a relationship where you decide to take a step back because you need to evaluate something within the relationship to bring it up there. Know that by being balanced is the way to go because you were intuitively saying, no, I need to break it here. I'm obviously not doing this. The same thing can happen with work too. If you guys are burnt out and you take a long vacation, maybe this long vacation is needed so that you can get balanced so you can come in and feel like this again, which is human. <laughs> right? Not feeling like, oh my God, end of the world kind of thing. So definitely feel this break is needed for you for sure so that you can regroup and get balanced. So it's all about getting balanced this month for you. But definitely speaking your truth, taking that break, you're going to have to take it. All right, what healing message do we have? I feel like you got all healing messages in this, this one, but let's see. Oh my gosh. Can't make this up. Negativity. Take a break. <laughs> okay. 17 comes to an eight. So it's about your stability. It's about your abundance here. All right. This is release. Stay grounded, guys. Definitely stay grounded here. Don't be so stuck in your head. Release the negativity. And please, if you guys, just like I said with this, this toxicity and everything, don't get stuck in this pattern. All right. This is just spirit reminding you. Like, it's, it's cool to get... Have a good time, kick back, lay back, but don't get to the point where you're not feeling, okay? Because that's what this break is not about. It is about feeling, but it's to relax more, all right? To relax so that you have that intuition coming in so you can get that high priestess mode. All right, Capricorn, if you resonated with this, go ahead and hit a like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you're on Facebook, I would love to see you there. Um, I have a Facebook group. It's called Harmonia Friends. Just search Harmonia Friends. Um, it's not just a self-development group, guys. It's really a soul tribe. So if you really are in need of a soul tribe, that's a great group to go to. All right, hope to see you there. Take care.